It was just the other day that I was talking to you guys about the fact that Colourpop was coming out with a Twilight collection and now they're starting to drop a few of the products and letting us know what's happening. I have to say a massive thank you to both Makeup On Your Radar and Trend Mood. I've taken the information and some pictures and videos from them. Let's discuss. This was one of the very first pictures to actually drop regarding the products in the launch. By the way, this is coming out on the 11th of January and you can apparently sign up for notifications. But it does look like this is sort of like a lip oil slash gloss. I mean, let's be real, lip oils and glosses are exactly the same thing. But this is the stuff that we know for certain. So we have three new shades of their Hydrating Luxe Lip Oil. And starting off the top, we have Team Edward, then Bells and Team Jacob. This is Team Edward and it's a deep rich blue with silver pinpoints and it's apparently inspired by Edward's navy-like style in the movie. And I gotta say, I really like how that looks on the lips. It gives you a really nice cool tone. Then there's Bells and it's a vampy black and red which is reflecting Edward's attraction to the scent of her blood specifically. Now they said they didn't want to go with like a liquid lip, they wanted more of a lip oil because it wasn't the vibe. And again, this is quite pretty looking, like I've nothing negative to say about this. And finally, we have Team Jacob, and this is a sheer black with silver pinpoints, which is representing Jacob's jet black hair. And can I just say, I love the way this looks on the lips. It makes them look a little bit dead, and I'm kind of here for it. But they couldn't come out with the Twilight collection and not do some highlighters. It would have been ridiculous. I mean, their skin is meant to be like diamonds, super sparkly and glittery. So they have two new shades of their Super Shock highlighters. There's Meadow and there's Vampire Skin. There's Meadow, which is an opalescent duochrome lavender with multi-dimensional pinpoints representing the flowers from the Meadow scene. And there's Vampire Skin, which is an icy white with sparkling multi-dimensional pinpoints inspired by Edward's sparkling skin. So obviously you can see that Meadow is up at the top and Vampire Skin is at the bottom. And although this is a still, oh, can we just talk about how beautiful it looks? Like, and you know that this is going to be crazy affordable. Like, this is going to be such a hit for Colourpop. Like, this is such a smart collab for them. And it feels like there's a lot of hype on this. Like, people are excited. And this is the video over on Trend Mood that they released along with this. And I mean, can we talk about the packaging? Like, can we just mark that alone? Because that is incredible. The products themselves. I mean, look at that. The sparkles, the shimmer, the glow. I have to say, I think this is done exceptionally well. Like... I know we should get rid of packaging and throw it out, but I would be the weirdo who'd be like, oh, let's keep the boxes because I mean, it's so perfectly done. And I mean, look at the swatches here. I mean, yes, I whinge about like swatching on an arm because I don't think it's the best way of showing it. But I mean, we've seen it on the lips and here you can really see the undertones here, how like Bell's is way more ready, pinky toned. Now let's look at these highlighters. Oh, my goodness, let's be real. Their Super Shock formulas are like super, super strong. But here you can really see they're innovating. This is new. This is different. Oh my God, let me bathe in that. It is stunning. I think personally, Meadow is a little bit more interesting. But I mean, they kind of had to do vampire skin. Like here it looks a little bit lackluster. But there, do you see when they really start to zoom out? And you can see some of the sparkles. This is done really really well I think it looks fabulous Meadow definitely has my heart and Trend Mood also put up a second video so it seems that we're also getting some liquid liners in Forever, Coven and Vampire I mean look at this look at that fabulous metallic red that looks so interesting I mean I haven't bought anything from Colourpop in a hot minute. Oh, the green. You know my feelings. I haven't bought anything from them in a hot minute, but I'm going to say it. I think this looks stunning. And the fact that that black liner is like glittery. Now, come on, lads. They had to do a sol body. If they hadn't done a glittery body oil, I think everyone would have been like, what a missed opportunity. I think this is called, what, vampire skin or something like that. 
I still feel it should have been called skin of a killer because you know how he's like this is the skin of a killer Bella anyways it looks fantastic I love this 10 out of 10 so well done now keep in mind that this is only part of the collection we haven't seen everything yet because we obviously still have like an eyeshadow palette to go and it does look like there's like a blue tone in there based upon what we've seen but can I just say I'm so impressed with this I think this is like the zhuzh the colour pop really needed because I mean they kind of peak and they plateau they peak and they plateau this I feel like this has got so many people interested yes it's an older idea it's an older IP I mean it was what 2009 to 2008 or something like that that the book etc came out but I mean it just shows how culturally relevant it still is and I feel like this is just done really well the packaging of those lip glosses can we talk about that and I'm going to call them lip gloss not a lip oil <laughs> a 10 out of 10 so good I'd keep the little paper packaging for that because I think it is fabulous I totally love the highlighter meadow more than vampire skin but I totally understand why they have vampire skin this has all been executed really really well so far I am excited by this and I didn't think I would be I, I think this is gonna be a huge success like if you are interested you're gonna have to put your name down and you're gonna have to be like on the site I actually feel like this is gonna sell out pretty darn quick it's a huge one keep an eye out I'll obviously be talking about the palette when I see it let me know what you guys think do you think this is all good or are you a bit like unimpressed I find it hard to see how you would be unimpressed if you are a fan of Twilight I think this has done well